In this video, we're going to talk about derivatives involving e to the x. If you check the class notes, you'll see a couple of examples of where this formula comes from, how it comes about. But it turns out e to the x is uh, one of these unique functions that's actually its own derivative. e to the x is actually its own derivative, which is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing there, that this function turns out to be its own derivative. And so, of course, then in terms of the chain rule, if you have e to the u, where u is some function of x, then by the chain rule would be that thing, derivative of e to the u, which would be e to the u, times the derivative of the exponent u prime. So let's look at some examples here of some derivatives involving e to the x. It turns out, for the most part, relatively straightforward. So here we have f of x equals e to the 4x squared. So I'm going to step this through. Uh, without substitution uh, and just jump to my result here and so that would be e to the 4x squared right, times the derivative of its exponent which is 8x so you could do the substitution step but the idea behind this rule here is it just speeds it up a little bit because we could let u be 4x squared then say well Derivative of e to the u would be e to the u. Derivative of 4x squared would be 8x. And then substitute back in for u, we'd have the same answer, which is 8x e to the 4x squared. Okay, so that's what this idea behind this formula is, is it allows us to speed up. Because very often when we do derivatives with e to the x, uh, the function we're dealing with is going to be e to some power, something other than x. So very often we have to do... Uh, the derivative. Let's consider another example here. Consider the function here f of x equals x squared e to the x. And let's say we want to find the second derivative. Well remember to find the second derivative we first find the first derivative and then differentiate that again. So f prime by the product rule would be the first x squared times the derivative of e to the x. So that would just be e to the x plus the second e to the x times the derivative of x squared. Now that answer is perfectly fine for the first derivative, but if I kept going from here, I'd have to use the product rule on x squared and e to the x, and on 2x and e to the x. So what we often find ourselves doing with e to the x is we can factor it out as a common factor. Uh, and now when I do the derivative the second time, I can get by with using the product rule only one time. So we go ahead and do that x squared plus 2x times e to the x. So by the product rule, second derivative would be that stuff times e to the x plus e to the x times the derivative of that stuff, which would be 2x plus 2. And then we just go through and we simplify. Then we just go through here and we simplify. So uh, e to the x can get pulled out of both of those quantities. And we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 2. So we would get x squared plus 4x plus 2 all that times e to the x. So e to the x is really a pretty easy function to do derivatives with uh, based on the fact that it is its own derivative. And then we, in some cases, we deal with the derivative of its uh, exponent if there's something other than just x in the exponent. 